Good evening, and welcome to Louisville Late Night. This evening we are thrilled to have a fantastic, up-and-coming, terrific performer, Joe Firstman, who's about to tear up the whole music uh, situation here. Um, I can't say enough about Joe. He's, he has, uh, he's a great songwriter, he's a great singer, he's a great uh, pian pianist, and guitarist, and uh, he, he's, he, he's uh, kind of a redeemer here in the, uh, in the desert land. He's, he's uh, someone that's bringing music back, and uh, I can't say how personally uh, thrilled I am. Joe has uh, many awards. He's, uh, the, uh, he's a song, singer-songwriter, Los Angeles Music Award winner. He's touring now with Opening for Jewel. He's been uh, touring with Willie Nelson and uh, doing songs with Bernie Taupin. And uh, I'd say, you know, move over uh, Billy Joel and, uh, and uh, get ready for some, some great new piano-driven rock and roll. I don't want to waste any more time. Uh, I want to say hello to Joe. Joe has a show coming up here in, in just a little bit, so we're trying to squeeze in and, and get to know him here a little bit. Joe, how's it feel to, uh, to be here in Louisville, Kentucky? It's good. Uh, this is our second time back. Uh, we were here last summer with Shell Crow. Um, um, and uh, it's good, man. It's good to be in the South, you know. I'm a Southern boy, so we, we hit the wood Midwest pretty hard. It's getting back down here and drink some sweet tea, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, North Carolina, uh, that, that's your roots, right? right? And uh, James Taylor is, has some association there. Yeah, it's been, it's been okay. And then there's some infamous basketball teams that yes. we won't even know. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, we lost last night, so I'm a little bummed about uh, that. Yeah. But uh, anyway, uh, it's it's uh, it's just uh, can you tell us what's what's been? It seems like your your life is going like an avalanche. It's 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 just one one uh, home run after another. Well, you know, we just it's uh, it's still we're at the grassroots level. I think that um, the record company uh, being so used to trying to uh, force uh, music upon the public. Uh, with me, uh, from the from my management and all the way down to, to where my heart was, I don't think that we wanted to take that route. We wanted to do a grassroots thing, so we toured with pretty much people that we love. You know, we did Cheryl, um, obviously the Willie Nelson stuff, and uh, here I am doing a solo tour with Jewel. And you know, I mean, say what you will, I mean, Jewel's a great A singer. You know, so it's just me and her, and it's real intimate. Um, and you know, we're just trying to break the record the right way, uh, organically. And um, you know it's working. We're, we're, little by little, you know, little, you know, we see the sales go up in towns. You know, when, when we play there, and then the response from uh, just walking out and signing autographs in the lobbies after the shows is just uh, overwhelming. You know, I was at Jewel's show here last year. And it was sold out, just just packed, and uh, I can. I'm just really excited about the show tonight. <clears throat> it's uh, it is an amazing thing, Joe, that uh, as young as you are. To uh, to have the breadth and depth of music, uh, you know that you're bringing bringing forth. Uh, what did you start uh, at, like age one or something? Yeah. Uh, I think that um, uh, the problem with it, well, from my standpoint, perhaps it's not a problem, but I think the, the, an issue with a lot of today's singer songwriters they didn't really study. Um, I think the grades that came before us, you know, were trying to copycat uh, people that were came out a week ago as opposed to 1973. Um, so all that really is is my, my reverence, I think, for great music and uh, the way that songs and the way that albums uh, played through and the way that songs um, were written back in the 70s and the 60s and the 50s. Uh, it seemed like it went a little more and I just studied that, you know, and I wanted to put that on my record and I wanted to do it 
uh, in a way that I could sort of trick uh, the record company into giving me a big fat record deal, you know, because I wanted to, wanted to have a nice place to live and all that stuff too. But um, you know, man, it, it was a trick, uh, just trying to get get on get on the radar and um, make music that I felt was um, was genuine. Yeah, I mean, it, it really, it, 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 it's funny, uh, in reading, uh, there's a, a lot that's been written about your music already, and uh, just listening to uh, the uh, War of Women, uh, it, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a strange thing that uh, it, there's so many different uh, artists that, that come to mind. One that comes to my mind that I didn't see anybody mention is Carol King, okay. who to me is just a monster of... Yeah. of uh, of, 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 I don't know, piano and heart and... Yeah.